Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. We're gonna do a nasty double integral. Uh, we're integrating y of times sine of xy. Uh, we're gonna do from y goes from zero to pi and x goes from one to two. Uh, we're doing integration, integrating along dy first. Uh, this needs to be done by parts. So I did u equals y, du equals dy, dv equals sine of xy dy, and then d equals negative one over x plus sine of xy. My integral becomes this. Everything in red is what this translated down to. <laughs> I didn't like this, so uh, I did a quick u sub. Said u equal x y, so the partial derivative with respect to y was x, uh, which means I could write du as dy as du with a one over x, and I use partials to do that because uh, we're doing derivatives. Over here, it's the full dy, uh, but that makes it so when I integrate, uh, where was I going with this? So I have another one over x out, one, one over x outside. I got one over x squared. Now it's just cosine of u. That integrates to sine of u and I replace u. <coughs> we evaluate from y equals zero to pi. Uh, you can verify that, look through it. I got down to here. Uh, so I've got x in the denominator again outside and x inside. It's another integration by parts. Uh, I did u equals negative one over x and du equals one over x squared dx. Oh, I'm sorry, that of course happens. And then dv equals uh, pi of times cosine pi of x. Uh, this was just the first one I was showing. Uh, you can go through and see it. You'll notice that when we do it, we get the exact second term, but the opposite. So they will cancel out. And when we evaluate, we just get zero. <coughs> so I didn't explain all the steps. You can pause the video and look at it and verify my work. Uh, in the interest of saving time, we're not doing that. So blah, blah. Uh, this was a pain in the butt. We had to do integration by parts twice. So when you see the first integration by parts, maybe you should try changing the order first. So what happens if we change the order first? So I'm going from zero to pi and then one to two, we're gonna do dx first. I, I did a u sub real quick, u equals x, y, so du is y dx. We take the derivative with respect to x. Uh, and we get, the y goes away because it's part of the dx. And we just have cos or sine of u. We integrate sine of u. We get negative cosine of u. I put u back in as xy. Integrate from x equals 1 to 2. And we get negative cosine 2y plus cosine y. Integrate that from 0 to pi. Uh, and you can see the steps. We still get 0 again. It's much easier in this order, and there was no integration by parts. Uh, pause it if you need to verify my work. Peace.